Hi, I'm Laura Rutledge, and I'm a reporter and host for ESPN and the SEC Network. I am forever thankful that I somehow accidentally ended up in this business, but it was not something that I ever thought that I would do. And uh, it's actually a pretty funny story. I had been a serious ballet dancer, had done that my whole life. I ended up at the last second accepting my admission to the University of Florida. So I was using up some of my academic scholarship on ballet classes. My parents were not too happy about that. They said I needed to get a job. So somebody said that there is a radio station on campus and they pay six bucks an hour. And when I went up there, they said, yeah, we'll take you and we have an opening, but it's in sports. And I was like, well, I like sports. I'm terrible at them, but <laughs> let's see how this goes. And so that was kind of how it all started. I think the, the hardest part has been um, just finding a way to be as good as I want to be in every different avenue. So whether it's SEC football, whether it's NBA, whether it's hosting Sports Center, whether it's hosting Get Up, uh, reporting, reporting on Monday Night Football, trying to make sure that I'm credible in the NFL space when most of what I've done has been college, learning gymnastics learning softball, you know, all of these different sports and, and still giving my all to it. I think that part has been challenging because I'm not satisfied with um, just sort of halfway doing anything. And so finding a way to balance all of that's been tough. But, but I do think that that challenge has made everything better. And so I, I really am glad for that and relish in that. I think the main key has just been um, really never being satisfied. There's never a day where I sit there and say, oh, I, I did that perfectly. I don't think there's anything that I do that doesn't need work, that doesn't need a little bit of refinement. I still to this day hate to watch myself or to hear myself on anything, but I would force myself to sit there and watch and notice every little thing I was doing wrong and, and just trying every single day to, to strive for perfection, which none of us are perfect, I'll, I'll never get there, but I think that's the mindset that has shaded my career. There's never a moment that I take any of it for granted. I still keep on my phone the press release that came out when I was announced as the host of SEC Nation because it was one of the biggest moments of my career. It's always something that when I load up my phone will, will pop up and just remind me, you know, hey, you're really lucky to be doing this. Uh, you know, I, I hope that I am a role model in some way, shape, or form, but to me, the one thing that I always think is important with that is that if, if I am a role model to somebody, I want to be accessible. And I think um, sometimes I look back on people who have been role models for me, and I still have so many, and I felt like I couldn't reach them. You know, I could never talk to them, or that I couldn't reach them unless I was at a certain level. I, I just don't think it should ever be that way. And so I think my advice to women women in general, and I include myself in this group, and, and I need to take this advice more, is to just be proud of what we're doing and the progress that we continue to make. And there's a reason why women feel empowered by women. It's because we understand each other's situations better than anybody else could, and, and there's a real beauty in that. So um, I love the empowerment that I receive from other women in my field and in my career, and I've found a lot of strength from that. And so I think as much as we can and encourage each other. That, that's the biggest advice that um, I would give to any other woman.